Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a uh, MVP uh, frame, a drone frame. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, load up Design Spark mechanical. We're going to be creating this in millimeters, so we'll go ahead and create a new drawing or new design. We'll go ahead and change that. We're going to go click that eye icon to make it a, a plan view. We're going to minimize. Now it's hard to find these uh, drone frame drawings with dimensions because obviously they want you to probably buy their frame and not make your own. But um, best thing you would be able to do is find one that has some measurements on it and then I'll show you how to go from there. I mean we obviously don't want to copy this one exactly but we're gonna we're gonna make our own so what you want to do is um, you want to print this out of some pretty durable uh, plastic and maybe even carbon fiber if you have the option to do that if you wanted to create this uh, so really all you need is uh, a dimension of this hole here which is uh, an M3 that's 0.35 millimeter and then you just need a dimension over here and then up from here and then you can go from there okay so we're gonna go ahead and put this somewhat in the middle here so we're gonna have to do some adjustments later so we'll go ahead and get our circle tool and then we're gonna go turn off the let's turn off the snaps for right now snap to grid just check that so it's not on and then do a control plus and we're going to do click right there and then just drag out to 0.35 and then and we're going to go select it okay actually undo that let's control minus Let's drag a marquee around this so we got it selected and then we're going to go to move and we're going to hold down control key and then we're going to drag this over. Oh, actually, I couldn't see it. It's so small. Let's go ahead and select it again and then drag that over and then we're going to punch in uh, 26.5. Okay, and that's going to be so we're going to put that placement and that placement so that's going to be 26.5 and then we're going to drag this one up 19 so we're going to go ahead and select there hold down control key click in, on the red and drag up and then uh, type in 19 okay so this is where you want to size the frame up to so we're going to go ahead and click on the frame with this select grab your select and then we're just going to click on the corner there hold down the shift key and we're going to drag this out so you want that hole there to be in the center and you want that hole there to be in that center so control minus it's going to have to be a lot bigger so we'll go ahead go ahead and pull these out here let's see here where's are my holes okay so that's Either I can't see it or I deleted one of them. No, they're there. Okay, they're down here. So let's go ahead and move that over. All right, let's go Control Plus. Let's center that a little bit more. Okay, looks like you might have to make this frame a little bit smaller. So go ahead and click there and then just drag it in a little bit. You can use your the numcad pad, numpad arrow keys to to zoom in and then also you can move them over if you have to. Yeah, this has to be smaller still. Control minus. Go ahead and Hold, undo let's hold down your shift key so it, it doesn't constrain and then 
and I'll go control plus a couple of control pluses and now you can go ahead and uh, let's go to three there okay that's going to be close close enough three there right there okay so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that one delete and then get rid of this one and the little one in the middle there. Don't need it. Okay, now we're going to go click on that. This this M3, I'm just going to put three millimeters. So, um, so we're going to go to move. And then we want to hold down the control key. And then click on that green. And we're going to drag that over to 26. Type in 26.5. Uh, all right, we're going to have to make a little adjustment. This frame's a little off, so we'll go ahead and delete that one. Before we do anything else, let's make this a little bit smaller. So we're going to go ahead and um, get our selection tool. We're going to click there, and then we're just going to drag that in just a little bit. Hold down the shift key. Actually, undo that. Hold down the shift key, and drag it in just a little bit. Okay. Control plus. Go ahead and center that. You want to try to get them as close to possible as you can to being uh, right where they need to be. It's a little bit smaller. Hold down the shift key, grab that corner, drag in a little bit, do a control plus. And let's go ahead and center that. So as long as they're pretty close, that's all that's going to matter. Right there. Okay, so now we're going to, actually I needed these to be 26.5, I'm, alright, so we got to move this down a little bit, so now I have to really scoot that down a little bit, sorry about that, let's go control minus, I thought that these were the holes, but actually it's up there, so I wasn't paying, paying attention. Sorry about that, the gardener is outside, so let's shrink these down, hold down the shift key, go ahead and hold down the shift key, right to there, let's do control plus, kind of like move those around to see how far off they are, okay, a little bit smaller, so control minus, hold down the shift key, Drag that in. Yeah, that, that looks good there. So let's go a couple of control pluses. Make sure it's where we need it to be. Uh, I'm being picky here, but kind of have to be with this CAD drawing. Don't have all the dimensions. Hold down the shift key. Click and drag in. Okay, control plus. Okay, good enough. Control minus, grab, let's select that hole there. We're gonna go to move. We're gonna click on the, the red, hold down control key. We're gonna drag that up 19. All right, that's pretty close. Go one nine, okay. All right, so now we know that our frame is the size that we need it to be. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to draw half of this. So we're going to go ahead and put a, uh, um, let's see here, I want to draw a line here. So we're going to go from the center there. Just go straight up. It doesn't have to be any particular size. So we're going to do... I'm going to make sure that this is in the center here. So we're going to get our calculator out, do uh, 26.5 divided into two. So we're going to move this over 13.25 millimeters. So we'll go ahead and go to move. We're going to click that, hold the group down the green, hold down the control key. And we're going to move this over 13.25. Okay, so this is going to be our our mirror line. So go ahead and right mouse click, set as mirror. Now it doesn't matter how 
how big or small your mirror line is. If you got a mirror line in the middle, it's going to work. So, um, all right. So we're going to go ahead and start drawing this stuff. Just go Control Plus, and then we'll go ahead and let's go ahead and go from here over. 9.2. I'm going to try to make it even. So 9.2, we'll go up to there. Let's just type 34. And then we're going to come in a little bit. Let's do 150. Actually, oops, messed up. I'll do that. Let's go from there. I want to do 150. So do the tab on there and punch in 150 there. Enter. And now we'll just come over there like this. Turn on the snap over here. Up to there. Okay, so now we have that box, these holes. Let's go ahead and turn off the snap. I'm going to copy this one up here so we're going to go ahead and select and we're going to grab that red hold down control move it up 19 okay now you have an extra one here so you can get rid of that later okay now we're going to put a curve in here so we're going to go ahead and get our uh, let's get the three-point arch. Okay, we're going to come up a little bit there. We're going to go, actually, let's, I'm going to do that later after we take off the, uh, our um, mirror line. Okay, so we're going to do, go ahead and go to the pan. Let's pan this down. Let's go ahead and get the our line tool. I'm just going to draw a line up here. And then we're going to go ahead and start drawing this. So we'll just go ahead and click there. We'll drag over. I'm going to go down to here. And we're going to go. I'm just going to draw basically mine straight through and then I'm going to round the corners and then we'll go from there. So click there. Go ahead and uh, select a click off. I'm going to get the line tool again. And then uh, actually let's go over here to create rounded corner. We'll do uh, type in 5.5. Okay, that's good. And now we're going to go ahead and um, Put a little bit of a fillet up here. Maybe uh, one and a half millimeters. That's good. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get the uh, your line tool again. I'm going to click there, drag over. All right, and then you're going to come click down to here, over, let's go down, over, let's go down to there, let's control minus, let's go ahead and uh, let's put a line in here. It's okay if the line goes through, and then we're going to select the click off. It's okay as long as... Uh, you're going to end up doing some trimming on this, so we're going to go ahead and create another line midpoint here. So click on the midpoint, and we'll come straight down, select a click off. Let's get our line again. Now we're going to go ahead, go over here, let's go up to here, and then this comes straight down like this. Okay, 
let's go control plus go ahead and pan this up a little bit let's go to get the uh, select our crate rounded corner we're going to put a little fillet in here four millimeter put a small one in here three point nine we'll just go ahead and round this let's go four millimeters make it make it even <clears throat> okay now I'm going to do a circle here it's not telling us the dimensions from here over so uh, and it doesn't matter as long as these are the right size so I want to go ahead and put a circle in here so I'm going to try to make that right in the center there and then we're going to do this like guessing five millimeters You know what you, yeah, let's just go five. We're going to do five there. Actually, that looks a little off, so let me zoom in. Let's control plus. Let's grab our pan. Let's get our circle tool. And then we're going to come more, eyeball that in the middle there. Let's just do a four. Let's do four. Four looks like that's an even amount. Okay, so now I'm going to get another circle, and then we're going to, I'm going to make these round. I don't really need them to be that weird shape. And then we'll do 20. Type in 20 there, 20, enter. Let's go. Okay, so this is going to be 20 here. Okay, now you can go ahead and uh, do your trim. Select off. Let's get our trim up here, which is uh, the T. On the keyboard, we'll go ahead and get rid of that, get rid of these little pieces here. Okay, so now we're going to do control plus. Actually, let's go control minus. Let's put these in up here now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pan down. Let's go ahead and control plus. Now keep in mind that there's a lot of components to, the, uh, to an FPV drone, so a um, subscriber has suggested that I create a drone, but um, that's pretty uh, quite an in, uh, intensive amount of uh, work to do a drone because there's a lot of there's a lot of parts. I mean, this is just the frame. You could actually buy the metal pieces and just uh, um, add add this stuff on yourself. Okay, so there's that one. And we're gonna put one in the middle here, 20. So type in 20. Now we're going to go ahead and trim. Let's get rid of these. Get rid of that metal piece. Okay, so now you have all this stuff. Looks like you're getting there. This is just a quick little uh, frame. And then we'll go ahead and um, control plus. Let's go ahead and put some uh, fillets on these right here. I think probably... Uh, five millimeters so type in five okay let's do this one on the bottom here five millimeters all right let's go ahead and uh, pan pan up on this go ahead and get our um, crate rounded corners let's do five here five do the bottom one Five. Okay. Okay. Now we have these. All right. So we have these holes here. Let's go ahead and pan down. Let's go ahead and go Control Plus. Let's get our circle tool. This is a little bit bigger, four millimeters. About right. Let's pan that down. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a, a, a circle in the middle here and then I'm going to move it over so I think this is going to be 
this might be two millimeters so just do two see how that's gonna look and then I want to move these over so they're gonna be the same distance so okay this is two millimeters and we're gonna move it over 5.75 actually let's undo that I'm gonna hold down control key click on the green and move it over 5.75 and then click on this one hold down the control key move this one over 5.75 and then you can get rid of that one in the middle okay let's get our pan tool let's come up here to create rounded corner let's put a fillet in there let's do four so type in four we got this one over here let's put one here let's make this uh, let's make it one because we have to actually round this corner too so let's make this undo let's make this one there and one there okay so let's go ahead and pan that and then do the same throughout I'm gonna do one here I'm gonna do one here okay now I'm going to go get the rounded, create rounded corner again. We'll do this right here so it's not a sharp edge. And we're going to do five, so type in five there. Okay, let's go ahead and pan this up. All right, looks good so far. We just got to put in these, these holes right here. So let's go ahead and um, do the select. Let's get rid of that line there. Don't need it. All right, let's go ahead and pan down. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna move these over. So we're gonna go ahead and get the circle tool and then you're gonna put one in there. So we're gonna click, drag out two millimeters. I'm gonna go to move, click on that, hold down the control key and you're gonna drag this over to there. This is going to be 10.75. So we're going to go 10.75, enter. And then you're going to do the same on this side here so they're even. Hold down Control key, move this one over, type in 10.75, enter. And then you're going to get rid of this one right here. Okay. Then you're going to get rid of that one. And now let's uh, take a look at what we got so far. All right, not too bad. You've got your frame. You got to put these marks up there. All right. So in order to do these, what I'm going to do is go from the center there, as close to the middle as I can. So I might have to turn off the snaps. Okay, you're gonna have to undo that. Let's zoom in a little bit so it's not so snappy. Okay, you're gonna go grab your circle tool, go from there, closest to the center as you can on those other ones. We might make this, let's just try nine and see what nine looks like. Nine's a little, a little much, so maybe we could go 8.75. Yeah, I think that's going to be tough to figure out that one because it's uh, it's a little off. So let's just say, I'm just going to say nine, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to draw this circle here. I'm just going to draw one here, as close to the middle as I can. All right, we're going to go two millimeters. And then we're going to go ahead and click there. We're going to go move. We're going to create pattern. We're going to move this to the center here. And then we're going to drag this around. And then you're going to just do four. That should be good enough. And that, we know that that's straight. The drawing, we can't really uh, go off the drawing because Okay, 
Looks like I didn't put them over here, but that's okay. I did put the one. So we're going to go ahead and go Control Plus. A couple of Control Pluses we're going to drag over here. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing here. We're going to move. We'll select this one. Check the Create Pattern box. Move this down to here. Click and drag. Four count. Select the click off. Okay, do the same down here. Actually, you know what I should have done? I should have put a mirror line here and it would have just mirrored it over. And then I wouldn't have had to have drawn all four of these. Um, I'm going to undo this just because it would be easier to do it with the mirror line on. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to get another line. And then we're just going to go from here over. Okay, and then we're going to select that one. Right mouse click, set as mirror. Select this one, right mouse click, set as mirror. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and whatever you draw up here will come down there. So you know that they're going to be even. So we'll go to move. Let's do control plus. Click there. Go to uh, create pattern. Drag this over to the center there. Whatever's going to be easiest for you. Four. Now we'll pan over. Do the same there. We'll go to move. We'll select this one. Go to create pattern and check. Move that down to the center. And then we'll. Oh, it's acting funny. Let's go ahead and collect, select there, go to move, check create pattern, drag that down to there, four. Now we're going to go ahead and pan up. Oh, it looks like it didn't put them down there. Maybe it can only do one mirror at a time. Well, I guess what I can do is go ahead and select these. Hold down your control key. All right, so we're going to go move. We're going to hold down control key. Let's move that down to right around there. Then we're going to pan up. Now I'm going to go ahead and select these. Just drag a marquee around those. And then I'm going to go move. I'm going to go right here to um, anchor point. We're going to anchor in the middle there. Then we're going to go to there. Actually, oops, sorry about that. I just did. I did a redo again. All right, let's. Uh, Alright, you're going to have to do this again. Let's just uh, drag marquee. Alright, let's just get these. Okay, go ahead and go to the move. You're going to select red, hold down control key. Let's move those down. And then let's go ahead and pan up. Okay, let's drag a marquee around that. Let's go to uh, move. I'm going to change, click to an anchor point here. And then I'm going to say up to, and we're going to go up to this middle there. All right, these are off here. Well, that's okay. We're going to keep them. We're going to keep them just where they are because we know that that's right. So let's go control minus to pan out. And then the last thing we're going to do here is put in this little slot here. So we're going to go control plus, control plus. Let's pan this over. I want to put a circle in the middle here. This slot's about 1.5. Now we're going to go 
select that slot. We're going to hold down control and drag that over to three, type three. Click on that one, hold it, grab the green, hold on control, type in three. Now we can get rid of this one in the middle, we don't need it. Let's get our line tool. And then now that we're finished here, let's go ahead and get rid of these. Delete. Delete. Let's get rid of that mirror line, delete. Now we're going to go ahead and get the line tool. We're going to go from, oh, still got a mirror on there, undo. Okay, let's go control minus, let's get rid of these down here. Delete, get rid of that one, delete. Let's do control plus, let's grab our line tool again. We're going to go from midpoint to midpoint. And then from midpoint on the bottom to midpoint on the bottom of the other one. Then we're going to go trim. Trim that one. Trim that one. We're going to come up here to create rounded corners. We're going to put a little fillet in there. 1.5. Then 1.5 here. Alright, let's pan. Pan up. I want to put this as a uh, three-point arch here, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of these. Delete. Let's go ahead and um, three-point arch. Grab our three-point arch. All right, we're going to go from there to there and then you're going to put a little arch on there right like that now we're going to go ahead and move i'm going to click this actually you know what this should be hmm doesn't seem to want to go that's on Control minus, let's go to move. Oh, it's not going to let me do that. We're going to have to extend that out. All right, let's go. Let's go pull a line down there on this one. Grab the line tool again. Let's pull a line down here. Okay, let's go three point arch. Let's go from there over to there and then right to there okay select off of it let's get this trim away let's trim that trim that let's go to the crate rounded corner 1.5 and then 1.5 on this side okay this is going to be our frame let's go ahead and uh, get rid of this we don't need that anymore uh, let's make sure everything is there. So undo. Let's make sure you got all your everything is there before we delete. Looks good. Let's hit delete. I'm gonna make these smaller. I don't like this. These seem a little big to me. So let's just go grab the circle tool. And then make these. Let's make these 16. Okay, let's pan up, pan up. Let's get these at 16. 16. All right. Let's go ahead and get rid of these. Delete. Get rid of that corner there. Delete. Same over here. Actually undo that. Let's get rid of these. Hold down control. Delete. Get rid of that. Delete. Okay. And then uh, let's pan down. 
do the same up here select let's get rid of uh, that there let's get rid of these corners delete um, get rid of this here delete get rid of these two hold down control shift or actually that was control okay all right now you're gonna go ahead and get this corner tool then you're gonna put these in there oh actually undo I did that the wrong way let's go from here undo undo okay I don't know if I can go let's go from there and then go to there okay and this one is from here to here and then from here to here all right let's pan down get that create corner let's go from there to there and then from here to here from there to there then from there to there all right now we're going to go ahead and create around a corner we're going to put a little two millimeter fillet in there let's do these two millimeter All right, let's pan down. Do the same over here. Two millimeter. Type in two there. Two millimeter there, and then two millimeter there. Okay, this is gonna be our frame. Let's do a control minus. Let's go ahead and get rid of these. Delete. Don't think I need these. Delete. Now we're going to go ahead and go to pull. Let's go ahead and spin this. I think that we could probably make this uh, two millimeters, so we'll just hit two. Oops. Did something there. Sorry about that. Two millimeter. And then if you want to make a thicker one, you could do an extra two millimeters. You could do a two millimeter one and a four millimeter one. So let's let's undo that. We're going to copy this. We're going to do two. So control minus. Let's get rid of these up there. We don't need that. Let's go ahead and select. Let's go to move. And then we're going to hold down control key. We're going to copy one over here. Then we're going to pull. Select that, do two. Select this second one, do four. All right, so this is gonna be a four millimeter thick. And this one will be a thinner one, two millimeter thickness, so. Now what you could do, um, if you wanna make sure that these holes are the right size, you could print this with just a kind of a, a smaller hole and then you can go ahead and once you're done printing this on your carbon fiber or your uh, uh, flexible heavy duty plastic you could go ahead and tap these holes to the exact uh, dimension and they should be fine okay the only other thing I'm going to do sorry about that the gardeners are here and they're making a lot of noise so I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to select that entire outside part. We're going to do, uh, you know what, I'm just wondering if I, we really need a fillet on this. Yeah, I'm going to put a fillet here. I'm going to do 0.4 and then we're going to do an 0.4 here as well. So just select everything, type in 0.4. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and spin these around to the bottom. Go to pull. We'll multiple click there. Type in 0.4. And then we're going to do a multiple click there and type 0.4. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Um, we'll go to the uh, top view. Two millimeter, 
four millimeter and um, let's go ahead and go control plus I'm gonna add a texture to this before I upload these two oh there's actually a double one over here gotta figure out which one that is I think it's this one and then this All right, let me undo that alright so there's one here that's uh, oh that got oblonged I messed that up darn it I guess that's gonna be okay but that actually is supposed to be a circle like this it's messed up here so I guess I could delete that let's do control minus see how we might be able to fix that same over there so let me see how we might be able to fix this do control plus control plus Let's pan over I think that's the only one that's bad alright let's go don't know if I can delete that hole yeah it's gonna have to be fixed alright I'm gonna have to leave it for now because it's supposed to be a round circle like that but it's oblong because I guess I had a multiple circle there when I was copying over the lines it's okay I'm gonna leave it everything else is fine except for that so it should be okay so and I only need one of these to make the make the model okay so if you were creating this you would just go ahead and buy your what I would suggest um, is go ahead and uh, before you print this go ahead and uh, save this save your file out as a uh, DXF bring it into a program like CorelDRAW and then go ahead and uh, cut this out cut this pattern out uh, uh, thick maybe like a uh, matte paper in a laser cutter um, go ahead and cut it out and then uh, line it up and that way you can make sure that your everything's going to fit on here. So, um, and then and then from and then if everything does line up, then you can go ahead and just buy your motors and buy the little pieces to uh, create your to create your um, your drone. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully, you got some interesting uh, tips out of this video and you enjoyed watching. Thanks again for watching.